I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want? Today I am doing a closet clean out. I am both excited and nervous. Here, all the way down to here, are my clothes. I started to organize them into categories last night so that I could do this video and I realized that I have a lot. So a lot of it needs to go. I am going to be trying on almost all of my clothes. I say almost all because the commitment of trying on all of my clothes seems a bit excessive, but we'll see what happens. I have drank an entire glass of cold brew to prepare me for this journey. I feel jittery as hell, but we're gonna do it. So let's try on some clothes. Okay. I think the first category we're gonna try on is dresses because that is my favorite thing to wear. So let me get all the dresses out of the closet. Oh God. <laughs> so I have a lot of dresses, as you can see. I think I'm actually gonna try on every single one of these dresses because some of them I haven't worn in a bit. So let's go ahead and get trying on. I'll probably do like a montage of clips of some of the ones I know I'm gonna keep, but I'll share some thoughts on other ones and maybe some thoughts on why I'm not gonna keep others. That was a lot of words. Hopefully it made sense. Let's try them on. <laughs> we are starting off not with a bang because I don't like this dress. Why do I still have it? I have kept this for years even though I don't like it. I think that this dress falls into the category of me being sucked into needing workwear so I buy things that are office appropriate that I don't actually love. So I don't love this print, I don't love this color. I do like the classic wrap dress, but I feel like the fabric is weirdly heavy, especially because it's kind of summery. So this is a no, this is going. First one, out the gate. I like this dress. This is one that I found in the back of my closet. I think I bought this last year from American Eagle. I like the neckline, I like the buttons. I'm trying to stand far enough away where you guys can see the whole outfit, but I like the little slit at the bottom. Cute little square back. I think this one is a keep, also because I've barely worn it. I haven't worn a lot of my summer clothes just because of everything going on with COVID and being quarantined. So a lot of this stuff feels brand new to me because I have barely been able to wear it this summer, but it's exciting and I'm glad that I'm doing this now because it'll stop me from buying other stuff. This is another back of the closet find. This is a velvet green dress from Express that I bought for New Year's 2019. It's not even this year, the year before. I have worn it once. So I'm definitely keeping it though, because now that I'm putting it on, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love that it's like kind of a loose little cowl. Is that what it is? Cowl neck style top. Has a little slit here on the leg. So cute. So this is a dress I'm gonna keep for sentimental purposes. I changed into this dress after Barsh and I's wedding. So this has a special place in my heart. So I think I'm gonna take it out of my closet and put it in one of my keepsake boxes. And now for a montage of dresses I am definitely keeping. going well. I'm already very over trying on all the clothes. <laughs> so I'm going to go through some that I know I'm going to give away and some that I know I'm going to keep. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one I just got at the Abercrombie outlet. I think it was out last summer season. It is so comfortable. I think it is the perfect length of short. So cute. I will say I already am going to have to reinforce the little clip here because the girls can't be tamed. I wish I would have gotten this more colors because I love it so much. It's been my favorite thing to wear so far this summer. Let's show you a couple dresses that I'm definitely keeping. By a couple, I mean a lot because as it turns out, I'm keeping most of it. <laughs> love that journey for me. I am keeping this dress from The Gap. I got this, I think in January, super on clearance, like for $6. I like this because it's really nice to wear when it's hot out because it barely touches the body, it just skims. So it's not the most flattering, but it's perfect for the beach, the lake, the pool. Keeping this one for sure. 
I'm also keeping this number from Old Navy. I got this one this year too. It's kind of a reddish pink color, longer with buttons down the front. It's just comfy, cozy, a little prairie chic, and I dig that vibe. A couple more that I'm keeping is this leopard print slip type dress that I also got at the Abercrombie outlet this year. This dress from Target, it's by Universal Thread. They still have dresses in this style this year. I got this a year or two ago and they are still selling this one. Love this. They have it in a few different colors. It's just super easy to wear in the summer. You can wear it with sandals, sneakers. I just really love this one. I've gotten a lot of wear out of it. I am keeping this dress that I also got on super clearance from The Gap. Apparently shopping for summer dresses in January is the move. I'm also keeping this dress that I got off of Amazon. Has a little uh, slit here, some ruffle action, keeping this one. I am keeping these two dresses that I got from Old Navy recently. Again, I'm all about easy casual dresses in the summer. So I got this same dress in two different colors. I think this is the only jumpsuit I own. This is from Old Navy from a few years ago. It's just a simple tank top with a little ruffle sleeve jumpsuit. I don't really do jumpsuits and this one's really comfy, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this dress from J. Crew. I think I got this a year ago. I just like the ruffle detailing. I'm a sucker for a wrap dress style, obviously. And then I am for sure keeping this polka dotted maxi dress. It has slits on either side at the bottom. I think I got this from Target last year. I don't know, I apparently cut the tag out probably because it itched me. Uh, it comes with a little belt. I actually don't know if I, I don't think I use this, but yeah, I love this a lot. Now for a few dresses that I will be getting rid of. I also got this a few years ago. It's from Old Navy. Just does not excite me. It's not into it. I'm pretty sure I bought it because I needed something super lightweight to wear on a trip. And I don't know, just don't like it anymore. So we're kicking it to the curb. This dress I love. And for the longest time I thought that like, because I'd gained some weight that it didn't fit. But now that I've lost a little weight, I think that I shrunk this. And I think that that's what's been the problem the whole time is that I shrunk it. So I'm gonna see if somebody I know, my sister or a friend or somebody wants this one because I love it so much. And maybe one day I'll be thin enough to fit into it. And it's just, it's so pretty. I love it so much. I'm going to get rid of this dress. It's from Old Navy. It's just a simple long black maxi dress that I don't necessarily know that I really need. I feel like I haven't worn it in literal years. So it's probably time. This dress has really served me well. It's from Express. I got it years ago, maybe five years ago-ish, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. It has a really cute little tie waist ruffle skirt. I don't know. Now I'm having second thoughts looking closer at it. It's, it's really cute. I'm gonna try this one on again, but this one might be going too. I feel like it just doesn't excite me, but I'm gonna try it on and see. I was influenced by a blogger to get this dress and it is very comfy. I wore it a lot last summer or the summer before, but I feel like it's showing some signs of wear, like there's pilling and some of the colors have faded. And honestly, it's like a pretty heavy fabric for a summer dress. So this just doesn't excite me, so away it goes. Lastly, this dress, there's nothing really wrong with this one. Uh, this one was from Old Navy. Again, just not exciting to me anymore. So this one will also be donated. I am going to try on a couple more dresses for you guys and then I'm going to organize everything so we can put it away. I want to preface this look by saying that I don't normally wear yellow or orange. I feel like yellow and orange really aren't my colors, but I genuinely think that I bought this because I have a subconscious desire to recreate the scene from Glee where they do the Halo Walking on Sunshine mashup. I'm walking on sunshine, wow. And does this fit the vibe perfectly? It truly does. I'm not sure about this dress. I'm honestly going to decide after I look at the clips of this video, if this looks cute on me, then I will keep it. And if not, I'm kicking it to the curb. I just, I love gingham. I feel like it's so summery and so sunshiny, but truly I don't know if this is my color. So this one is undetermined. We're gonna watch it back and see how I feel. Walking on sunshine. Hello, see you, hello, hello. I love this dress. I just wanted to share this one because I got it this past winter, literally tag still on because I wanted to reinforce the buttons before I wore it out and about. Obviously somehow I didn't find the time to do that. What's wrong with me? I don't know. But I love this dress because it reminds me of Clueless. I feel like Dion would wear this dress. These little pockets, so cute. My Wednesday Adams dress for when I'm feeling dark and moody, except I kind of am wondering if I 
shrunk this dress because it feels way shorter than the last time I wore it. Or else my booty just got more popping. I probably just shrunk it. <laughs> but isn't it cute? The last dress. How am I gonna try on more clothes? I got this dress last summer when I was in Korea with my friend Mel. Gosh, traveling feels like a distant memory. Anyway, I got this dress at an H&M in Seoul and I still love it. So cute. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom, but the bottom is roughly, it's kind of a midi length. Has a little tie waist. Sorry if you can see my blue undies, <laughs> but it's so cute. Very comfy too. So since this is the last dress that I'm trying on, I think we will go ahead and organize the dresses by season. And I think what I'm gonna do is very similar to what I'm going to start doing with my lipstick collection, which is to try to wear something different every day. I feel like if I can really get through my dresses, I can see which ones feel really good on, which ones I actually like to wear, and then maybe pare down my clothing even more than I did today. Cause I really am not getting rid of that many dresses today and I have so many, it's kind of excessive. So I think I'm gonna challenge myself to wear something different every day, really get a feel for what I have and go from there. So what I've done here is divvy up all of the dresses into piles. So here I have winter dresses and then fall spring dresses. I have my summer short sleeve dresses, my sleeveless and spaghetti strap summer dresses, and then my jumpsuit. That pile is clothes to give away or clothes I'm gonna consider further. So what I'm gonna do now because I'm extra is I'm gonna go through each category and organize them by sleeve length and color and put them in my closet. Okay, the dresses are done. They're organized and back in the closet. I have taken a little break. I went to Trader Joe's. I made myself a nice latte, rested a little bit because this takes a lot of energy. And now we are on to the tops, which I got all of my tops out of my closet, organized them by type of top. And this is where we're really gonna take no prisoners. I feel like with dresses, even though I have a lot and it's excessive, I do feel like it's okay that I have so many dresses because I wear dresses all the time in the summer. Like that's basically all I wear. So it's like I need a variety, right? <laughs> With tops though, I feel like I never have tops that I really, really like. I'm trying to fix that now. And I think that what will be helpful is to really take no prisoners going through my tops and get rid of anything that I don't wear, anything I'm not crazy about. I think that I'm really trying to find my style right now. And I think that what I like in tops is either something that is a statement piece or something that's super classic and simple. In the winter, I don't really wear a ton of dresses. As you saw, I have like maybe three wintry dresses. So I really need to figure out my top situation and the kind of style tops I like so that it's really easy for me to feel cute when it's colder outside, because that is definitely a struggle of mine. So without further ado, let's get rid of all of my tops. The first category we're gonna address, tank tops, spaghetti strap, sleeveless tops. Right off the bat. This is disgusting. Can you see that? Those are signs of a lot of sweat build up on a white top. So cute. So I bought these button up tops from Express. That's their Portofino shirt. And I wore the crap out of these when I was working at a job site at my old job. And it was literally kind of in a built out construction trailer. Nicer than that, but essentially that. So when it would be so unbearably hot out, these were a lifesaver. However, don't really love them. Don't feel like I need them right now. We're gonna kick them to the curb. This looks crazy with these shorts, I'm well aware. This is not meant to be worn with sweat shorts. However, I kind of forgot about this top. This is really cute. I don't know, it's I like the structure of it. I'm gonna keep this and bring this to the front of my closet so I wear it soon. Okay, we're just gonna keep it on while we go through the rest of the tanks because whatever. Keeping this, I think this is from Ann Taylor from like a few years ago now. This one, what's this called? A bodysuit. Bodysuit, keeping this, I love this because it has a square neckline and also it's long enough to fit my torso. I'm about 5'7 and I have a long torso and short legs, so I need things that are longer. I've tried so many bodysuits that were way too short and it ain't cute, let me tell you that. This we're keeping. Ooh, I love this. A little silky, lacy cami from Abercrombie. I am keeping this. I forgot about this also, but I really like it. I'm gonna have to see what it looks like on camera. 
I feel like it has like that cool girl vibe that I don't quite have, but this shirt has it, so maybe then I'll have it. I don't know why I am this way, but I found these tank tops at Old Navy and they were on sale, so I bought it in three colors. I liked this for a neutral cream one. It's not really cropped, but this little tie in the front here just adds a little detail and it's just really cute with shorts or jeans. So I got it in cream, I got it in red and black, and I'm keeping all of these. It is becoming clear to me that I need to organize my closet in a way where I can see everything for the season. I forgot that I had half of these tank tops or sleeveless shirts, and that is no good because literally July is almost done. So that means summer in Chicago is almost done. So I need to like move this stuff to the front or to a place where I can see it so that I can be wearing all of my clothes. The next category is t-shirts, not graphic tees, but just like t-shirts. This category is where we are going to lay down the hammer and get rid of probably almost all of them. This is a lot of t-shirts and they're all neutral colors. This one, old as hell, kick it to the curb. A year or two ago, I got a bunch of these um, Lux t-shirts from Old Navy and something about this fabric I do not like. You know when the fabric is so soft that it kind of forms to your boobs in a weird way? That's what these do. So all of the ones I have like this, I'm getting rid of. So this one, this one, and this one. This is some sort of crop t-shirt. I think I might need to try this one on. This is cute. I like this, I forgot about this. I'm keeping this. This t-shirt is old, I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the same one as the gray one I was just wearing. I like these, these are from Old Navy. They have a little pocket and I like the length of them. They're not too long, which is really nice. And I like the fabric too. Keeping this. These are two shirts that I got off of Amazon. I actually got these just before quarantine struck, so I feel like I've barely worn them. Oop, I'm gonna keep both of them. Love a little leopard print. I also got that Old Navy tee in this color. I don't have any t-shirts in this color. It's kind of like a cream, light tan color. I don't know if it's my color, but we're gonna try it. A little something different. I got this cute little t-shirt from the Abercrombie outlet. It's a blue and white tie-dye. It's a little crop. It's like this length, actually, and it has a little detail here that's super cute with the bow. Definitely keeping this bad boy. Which leads me to these t-shirts. I'm very torn on what to do with these. I think I'm gonna keep them. They're from Aerie. They're the boyfriend fit t-shirts and they're super comfy, but I feel like they're really hard to wear because they're not the most flattering. I have it in a kind of washed black color, white crew neck and a white v-neck. I haven't even worn these very much and I weirdly feel like the white ones look a little worn. I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep these for now and see how I can style them and then we'll go from there. Wow, it feels so good to get rid of that many t-shirts. Okay, let's just jump right into this because I have no idea how long this video is already and I, I need to show you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna show you my sweaters but I wanna show you my sweatshirt collection. I have a million sweatshirts. So this is just, I don't even know what this is, but I love it. It's like a sheer um, snake skin, which is not normally my vibe but I like the color of it a lot. It's very easy to wear over a cute little tank. It's breezy. I don't know, just adds a little something to a basic outfit. Keeping this. This is a cute little white top that Barge's parents brought me from Turkey. It's so cute. So I'm definitely keeping this. I love all the little lace embroidered details on it. I am gonna keep all three of these shirts. I'm obviously loving a floral moment. Two are both a little cropped. This one I'm okay with wearing now. As we know, I'm on a weight loss journey. So once I get a little fitter, I am gonna bust out this bad boy, but they're both super cute. I mean, honestly, I'd wear this right now. Not feeling maybe 100% confident, but I would still wear this now. This little guy is cute. It's like kind of a peplum style. Really like this one, love green. So this is a top that I got from Abercrombie last year, I think. These are two shirts that I'm probably gonna keep that are good shirts for work. This is a little tie waist polka dotted one, and this is just a simple black peplum. I think I'm gonna keep both of these for work wear. Somehow that was all my tops. Oh, just my short sleeve tops, damn it. Okay, long sleeve tops next. Please hold. This is a big pile. I think I'm gonna go through these ones really fast just to get through the pile, and if there's anything that I wanna point out to you guys, I'll show you. Got rid of a lot from that pile. Making quick decisions. I kept a lot of my cardigans and long sweaters because I really like 
wearing a long cozy cardigan in the winter. Some of the stuff I got rid of were button ups that I just don't wear really or ones I didn't really like, I didn't think fit very good. I got rid of a lot of old sweaters and sweatshirts, things I've just had for a while that I'm just not into anymore. A couple things had spots on them, so kicking it to the curb. Usually I do a closet declutter at the end of every season. So what I'll do is I'll go through all of my summer stuff and anything that I didn't wear or that I don't love, I will get rid of. And I'll also kind of go through all of my fall stuff and try it all on, see if I want to wear it that season and kind of go from there. Two hours later. I am back for the final round. I have eaten dinner. I've walked Lucy. I've taken a rest. Let me tell you, it is hard work going through your entire closet. Especially when you have as much crap as I do. Luckily, my giveaway pile is huge. Doing great. I've decided that I'm going to skip on going through my pants, jeans, things like that. Because I'm probably going to want to do that closer to fall. I'm also going to skip on going through all of my fall winter sweaters. Because again, probably at the end of summer when we start actually getting into that weather, I'll go through all of that. And honestly, I just like can't. I'm, I'm done. So... The last thing I'm going to show you is my sweatshirt collection. And I say collection because I have so many sweatshirts that it's obscene. I feel like one of my personalities is just comfy casual, which is the personality that kind of wants to dominate all the time. With all that being said, I don't know if I'm actually going to give away any of my sweatshirts or get rid of any of them because I love them all so much. So I'm not going to try them on, but I'm going to go through them, see if there are any that I can get rid of and show you any stories behind any of the ones I have. In no particular order, this is my cream DePaul sweatshirt. I just graduated from DePaul's business school in June. And obviously I need a sweatshirt to wrap my school and I picked this one because I thought it was chic. Uh, just cream with gray letters, obviously keeping this one. So I actually have two sweatshirts from this company. This is from AWOM, which stands for Angel Watching Over Me. I follow their founder, Sarah Akiba, on Instagram, and I truly feel like she is an angel among us. She's doing so many amazing things in her home community of Miami, and she has her own label. And so I bought this woman sweatshirt, which I've gotten so many compliments on when I wear it. A portion of the proceeds, or all of the proceeds, I don't remember which one, go to her foundation. You should look them up, they're amazing. So I got this one, and I got this tie-dyed one that says Femme, which is woman in French. This is part of their Pride collection. They were all tie-dyed, super cute. So I got this one too. My San Diego sweatshirt. Oh, I am such a sucker for crew neck sweatshirts. I love a good crew neck. I got this one when Barsh and I went to San Diego two years ago, a year ago. God, time is just a distant idea now. I love this because it kind of has that vintage crew neck feel. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one I have no emotional attachment to. I actually don't even like the fact that it says Cali. I'm indifferent toward that, but I love this color. I'm obsessed with this color and I like this color on me, so probably gonna keep it. This is my Harry Potter sweatshirt. It says, you are made of magic. I got this from the Common Room shop. They have an Instagram, you should totally follow them. I'll link them below. She has a ton of sweatshirts and shirts that are inspired by Harry Potter. She now has her own little shop that has a bunch of different clothing items. Really cute, I love this. So my friend Danny, who is my best friend's cousin, so Danny's basically my cousin. She's in the Navy, so gotta rep my girl. I know I said earlier that yellow is not my color, but I love this sweatshirt. It says Lil Bitch. This is part of Key and Toomey's merch. He's a comedian and I love him so much. I have not one but two Taylor Swift sweatshirts. It's fine. I have this one from the Reputation Tour, which I did not go to and I will forever live in regret over that horrible decision. I actually got this off of Depop recently. And if we wanna go into all of the Kaler theories and why I love this sweatshirt, we can discuss this offline and off of the video. Taylor forever, I love this. Oh, my other Taylor one. This is from the Lover era. It says, I'm the only one of me. It is literally so cute. It has a little tie-dye detail. The first time I wore this out, I'm not even exaggerating, three different people, I think I was out in public for 30 minutes, three different people commented on it and told me how much they loved it. So Taylor stands are for real. I'm one of you. Taylor's my girl. I forgot I had this. I'll have to keep this. It's so cute, Hogwarts. Obviously I love Harry Potter and Taylor Swift. Big fan. This sweatshirt is super cute. I got this from the wormhole here in Chicago. It's one of my favorite coffee shops. 
I talked about this coffee shop in my favorite Chicago coffee shops video. I'll link it here. Check it out. It's an 80s themed cafe, so they have the DeLorean in the cafe and on this sweatshirt. I love it. This is so random, but I love this sweatshirt. <laughs> Again, when bars are in California, we got this sweatshirt to share and it is just my favorite. It's so comfortable. It's really oversized and I wear it all the time. So I have two Christmas themed sweatshirts, which I'm actually probably going to move these out of my main sweatshirt cabinet to organize a little better. But I have this one, Merry Christmas, you filthy muggle. I also have this one, which is my favorite because I feel like this sweatshirt is so fitting for quarantine, but it is a Grinch themed sweatshirt. It's the Grinch's list of the things he has to do that day. Such as wallow in self-pity. There's some quote, it's a whole quote from the Grinch movie with Jim Carrey. Love this, obviously. This y'all sweatshirt I have had for a long time. It's the Kentucky for Kentucky brand. I got it when I lived in Lexington. I haven't worn it in so long. Probably gonna try this one on and then decide. It looks pretty tiny, but it's really cute and it's so soft. Probably gonna keep it. Okay, so that leads down to the two that I might get rid of. This one's from my old work. It's a Carhartt sweatshirt, so it's really good quality, but it's kind of stiff and just big. I don't know though. I might keep it. God, I, hate, I love sweatshirts so much. This is such a struggle. And then lastly, I have this Hanes one that is literally just navy blue Hanes. I mean, I probably don't need this. I have so many. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. Whew. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product in my closet. Here is my half of the closet. I don't know if I showed you before, but this was jam-packed. There was no space on these hangers. I organized everything by type of clothing and by color. I have my dresses here, then my tank tops, my t-shirts, my other shirts, and then all of my winter stuff is far back at the end of it. We ignored all these sweaters because ain't nobody got time for that. I also Marie kondo the hell out of my sweatshirt cabinet. It is very crowded. I think I need more than one little section for my sweatshirts. I got a little desperate for space right here. So just kind of crammed them all in, but feeling better about that. Well guys, I think that's about it. If you stuck through this video and watched up until this point, thank you, you're a real one. If you didn't, you're not seeing this, but it's fine, I get it. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be. Regardless, I feel so much better. My closet is decluttered, it's more organized. I have this decent sized pile of clothes to give away. Yeah, I feel like a new woman. I'm a little sweaty. This has been a very large endeavor to undertake, but we're done. There's still left to organize maybe in a couple months when the seasons change. But anyway, I'm just happy with what we accomplished now. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you next time. Me, oh, I guess I never